Hey guys, even here and we are hours away from the Mr. Olympia, but these bodybuilders keep posting physique updates, so I have to make a video about them, what am I gonna do? And the first thing I wanted to talk about is this video from Chris Bumstead, and I just watched it, literally like 5 minutes ago, and it's a great video, it's really great editing, I suggest it to you, but the thing that I wanted to tell you guys about is Chris's face. Like, I'm sure you're all thinking the same thing while you're watching this video. He has a death face that not only he never had, but, like, it's rare to see somebody have a face like this, like, so many lines. He is dry, dry, dry. I'm expecting Chris to bring the best conditioning that he ever brought to a bodybuilding stage. And I was watching this video and it was interesting when he said that Honey Rambad, his new coach, is looking at him after every meal or after every drink. So every time Chris drinks some water or he eats a meal, Honey looks at him after that meal, right after that meal, and he decides whether Chris can drink some more water or if he can eat some more food. They are in the same apartment, they are together all the time, Honey is following him around, he's telling him what to do about every single aspect of every day for the past couple of days, I think. And you know, the thing is, Honey has... A last year's top 3 Mr. Olympia finisher, Honey Rambod, and former 212 Mr. Olympia winner, Derek Clansford, and Derek might be in top 6 of the Mr. Olympia, and Hadi was 3rd last year, he might win the Mr. Olympia this year, but Honey decided to focus mainly on Chris. Why is this? Is it because Chris needs more attention? Because of his health issues? Or maybe it's because they are working together for the first time for the first year and he wants to be there to make sure everything runs smoothly. The other two guys already pretty much know the drill. Or is it simply because of Chris's popularity, which is much greater than the other two guys, and uh, Honey decided to promote himself by helping uh, uh, Chris being with him in his videos, and also by making sure that Chris is gonna be at his absolute best. And I'm happy that Honey decided to do this, for whatever reason, because we're gonna see something that we have never seen before, I'm pretty sure about that. I'm pretty sure Chris is bringing something incredible. I mean, honestly, we haven't really seen much from Chris, but from what I saw so far, a little that I saw, Chris looks pretty, like, round, you know, big, full and round, even though he's, I'm sure, really flat, and he looks super duper dry. So I'm expecting Chris to be crisp, 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 shredded, but also big and full. So I have really high expectations from Chris and Honey and the classic physique, because... It looks like Chris is bringing something incredible. Look at his face, man. This guy looks like he's one foot in grave. He looks like he's about to drop dead. I mean, his face looks like a freaking corpse. So he's... That tells you one thing. He is lean. He is dry. He is shredded. So I can't wait to see the final package on stage. This is what we got so far. It's not much, I know. It's nothing at all, actually. But we're gonna see tomorrow what his physique looks like. And me personally, I have super high expectations. Alright, next we have a bunch of physique updates of bodybuilders straight out of bed. Literally, like, all of them wrote the same caption, they are all straight out of bed. And I don't really know why are they taking photos straight out of bed. Like, if you sleep the whole night and you are depleted, you're dehydrated, I'm sure they carved up a little, but still, when you are in that state, at the final, at the final days or hours before the stage, your body is getting flat so fast, and when you sleep, if you get a full night of sleep, I mean, full night is a little bit too much, uh, it's usually like 5 hours tops, if the diazepam works, and if you are relaxed enough, but usually these guys aren't, because they are so excited, because they are, they are competing tomorrow, uh, usually it's like not a lot of hours, but still, when you wake up, you are flat, and as you can see, Nick looks really flat here. Like, all the separation from his chest is gone, from his shoulders too, he looks smaller, his legs look down in size, he just looks flat, without detail, without hardness, and also the lighting here is just natural lighting, so you can't expect to look jacked under that kind of lighting. It is a good lighting to show your condition, but if you are not full, if you are flat, you're gonna look smoother, so he doesn't look very 
he doesn't look very good and I just want to tell you this guys because some of you might think that he's not gonna look good on stage but you would be wrong Matt Jansen is right there with him he is going to peak perfectly he is going to be full and hard and separated and shredded I have no doubts and this is just normal you usually do look like this in the morning straight out of bed after he carbs up a little he drinks some fluid and the diuretics uh, start kicking in and uh, when he gets the pump behind the stage he's going to look very impressive and this is not what you're gonna see on stage even though this is not so bad but it's gonna be much better much different story on stage tonight Anton Voyant also straight out of bed but he looks much better he looks full already basically I don't expect him to get much, much better than this. I mean, the lighting is obviously uh, much stronger. He also looks a little bit flat. You can see it in the arms and his legs as well. So he's going to get a little bit fuller, but he is full already because his approach might be different. Maybe he carb loaded like crazy before bed with insulin or something like that, you know, or he was uh, eating uh, throughout the night. Some bodybuilders do that. They wake up every two hours, they have a shake or something like that. And uh, that's another approach because he doesn't look flat. He looks really full and he does look really good. I gotta say that as well. If you guys remember the last time he competed in Vancouver Pro, we didn't even know that he was competing until a couple of days before the show. But before that, before he stepped on the stage, he posted a couple of updates. And in those, he looked really flat and really small. But on that stage, once he stepped on that stage and he stood next to the other people, you could see how big he is and how impressive he is. And if he's looking like this alone, then he might look really good on that stage. Now... He doesn't really have the structure to be top 10. Like, he doesn't have those full arms. He doesn't have that bubbly, round look. But he has really impressive legs. I think he's going to bring crazy conditioning. And I think he's going to be bigger and fuller than he was in Vancouver. And that might, just might be enough to be right there at the top 10. But, you know, probably not. Probably not. If I'm going to be honest, even though he does look very impressive, he's more likely to be top 15. But I gotta say, he does look very good, and I think this is going to be the best version of Anton Wendt we saw so far, yeah. Alright, next we have a physique update of Raphael Brandau, and I don't know if this one is straight out of bed. Maybe, it doesn't look like that, it looks like it was taken during the night. Or maybe he didn't want to open up the blinds and uh, he wanted to take a photo under this uh, artificial lighting, I don't know. But uh, in, in this one, I gotta say, he does look very full, separated, the chest looks pretty phenomenal. And the arms look pretty big and round, the legs also. But is he as wide, as big as the other guys that we were talking about in that top 10? You know, like Samson Dauda, like Ian Valier, like like so many others. I mean, Andrew Jack, Crizo, uh, Derek Lansford. No, I don't see him being as big as the other guys. Uh, I'm sorry. I know Brandon would like to see him in that top five. And I know a lot of Brazilian fans would also like to see him uh, also in that top five. But mm, I don't see it. I think he's still too small. Phenomenal physique. Very, very beautiful. A lot of potential in the next five years. I can see him growing enough and actually being a top five threat. But this year, even though he does look phenomenal, I don't see it. I could be wrong. Maybe the judges go for aesthetics and shape. But you just saw what happened in Duth well with Kyun Pearson. Like a very beautiful physique. Much bigger than, than Rafael compared to the competition. But still, he, he is not going to be in that top three. And, uh, you know, top three in 212 is equivalent to top 10 in open. So I don't see him being the top 10, <laughs> let alone top 5. But, uh, you know, he does look beautiful. He does look really great, very aesthetic, just not big enough yet. So many people have Logan Franklin actually cracking that top 5 uh, at the Classic Physique Mr. Olympia. I don't know about that. This is like one of the one of the few times we saw an update of Logan Franklin and you can see that he is in decent conditioning. He's always in like okay conditioning but he needs to be bigger, you know. He needs to bulk harder if he wants to gain that muscle to be actually competitive against the other classic guys because they are just much thicker than him and also most of them are harder. Most of them are more conditioned. As you can see, he has some separation and some vascularity in his shoulders here. It does look pretty impressive, but you can see it in his face. Maybe not here, but you probably saw some videos of him. His face does not look super dry. 
like face of, for example, Lourdes Kalatinsky or Chris Bumstead. So at this point, I mean, based on what I saw so far, I don't think Logan is going to be much better than top 10, somewhere around 10 spot. Whatever you guys think, though, if you think he's going to place in that top 5 or maybe higher, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it and stay tuned. In a couple of hours, Mr. Olympia is starting and right here on this channel, you're going to watch my analysis and my commentary. So guys, subscribe to this channel and thank you guys so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.